autumn festival is exactly what it says it is, but it falls on a different date every year, different date of our calendar, because in China it's always on the 15th day of the 8th month of the lunar calendar. So this festival mostly celebrates the harvest, but pretty much every legend and every activity related to it celebrates the moon. Mooncakes are called mooncakes because they are round. The festival always falls around the full moon. And the legend of Tanga is also related to the moon. Tanga is a very exploited character from Chinese culture. Maybe not as exploited as the Monkey King, but you might know her from movies, you might know her from games, and you might also know her from space exploration programs. The original Chang'e is an immortal being living on the moon, and that is after she drank the elixir of immortality. And she drank it to prevent it from being stolen. And she had it because her husband was a legendary archer who shot down nine different suns from the sky. The story is a beautiful mess. But this is not why we gather here today. This is. The origin of mooncakes is pretty much unknown, but it is suspected that they were already used 2000 years ago to smuggle messages rallying Han people against the Yuan dynasty, the Mongolian dynasty. So here we are thousands of years later, Chang'e is still on the moon and we are still stuffing our faces with mooncakes. It's not unusual for one of these to have like a thousand calories. Nowadays they can be really innovative, different companies put their logos on them, they can have different shapes. Back in the university we would have a survey every year asking us which flavors we want. Some time ago the government prohibited officials from buying them as gifts with like official budget because they were so fancy and so expensive that they were used as bribes. But if you're working for a Chinese company you'll be getting these by the end of September. But here I have some of the popular choices that you can find in the supermarket. There is no way I am eating all of these, I can tell you for sure. I feel like we should start with a classic. This one is red bean and rose flavor. Guys, heavy. You could kill people with these. This one here is a Cantonese style mooncake. They are usually moist and soft. You can see that these are filled to the brim, like no cheating here. Mm. I think it's the texture of the mooncakes that makes me love them so much. Honestly, because Zunze is so dry. God, I hate Zunze. Moving on. Here I have another one from the same brand. This one is coconut and cream. Xinhualo is a very popular brand that you will see pretty much in every supermarket. Even in like Family Mart. You cannot mistake them because the brand and the flavor is like right, right on top of it. Yeah. This is what I like. God, I love coconut. There's so much sugar and fat in it that it can survive years. During lockdown, I would hear legends about people who were eating their old mooncakes because they didn't have anything else at home. This one is a uh, limited edition from Aldi. It's a black sesame flavor. My favorite flavor of anything. Yeah, this one's straight from hell. Mm. I never had black sesame before I came to China. It absolutely blew my mind. Black sesame ice cream, best ice cream. And this mooncake is not freaking delicious. Mm. Most people don't even eat their mooncakes. They keep re-gifting them. I must be the only person who wants them all. This one is different. This one is the Jiangsu style mooncake, which is more dry. It's a brand called Gong De Lin. It's a popular Shanghainese vegan brand. It's actually a chain of vegan restaurants. No! This 
one is much more crumbly. The seal already peeled off. The flavor is wuren, which basically means five seeds, five nuts. It's five different types of seeds and nuts that go into a mush and then inside is mooncake. Some people claim this is the best flavor a mooncake can have. There's even a song about it. Mm. There's a surprise flavor in there. I think there's like pepper in there or something. So these five seeds and nuts will be walnut, pine nut, pumpkin seed, sesame and uh, almond. That's it. This is really good. It's not as sweet as the other ones, but it I like I can taste the oil. Mmm. <laughs> I think this one should actually have less calories than the other ones. Nope, it actually has more. <laughs> I should have said to begin with that all of these are around 10 kwai each. Not expensive at all. So here are two uh, more hip looking ones. This one's supposed to be berry flavor. Ooh! <sighs> we got double stuffed. These ones are called Uyoshin, literally means leaky heart. There's a no! Oh my god, I went into it without suspecting anything because it looks so nice. It tastes like Domestos and toothpaste. I'm sorry, this is a no. I'm almost afraid of this last one. But it looks so pretty. It's so pretty, but will probably kill me with surprise detergent flavor. So this one is supposed to be matcha and orange. Another leaky insides right here. All right, similar piece this time. Fool me once. It's better. But it's not great. Oh, that's a bit of a disappointment, really. One thing I can say for sure about Chinese pastry is that sometimes they look like really nice. Like they really put a lot of effort into preparing it, and you can see it. But the taste, yeah. For some reason, it's very hard to strike a balance and sometimes it's like no flavor at all. Sometimes it's too much flavor, flavor everywhere, all kinds of flavors together at once. What am I even talking about? I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't love mooncakes, okay? Mooncakes are delicious and you should try them. Oh my God, I need to drink like five liters of water after this. I regret nothing. <laughs>